All right, my next guest takes on Stephen Lohman in the main event of Brave Combat Federation 13, June 9th in Belfast, Northern Ireland. He is the Black Mamba, Franz Malambo. Franz, how's it going? Good, 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 good. How are you? I'm doing good. How's it going today? How's your day been? Very good. No, sorry here. I just kind of, uh, re like, I didn't realize what time was and all. I went for a run and I was just taking my time getting out of the shower and thing, but, uh, no I hope you weren't waiting too long. No, no, you're right on time. No worries at all. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Good stuff. How's everything? You're a couple of weeks away from your fight. Of course, you're taking on Stephen Lohman for the Bantamweight title in a rematch. How excited are yeah. you to get to fight for the title and get a chance to avenge that loss? I mean, kind of two birds, one stone, right? I know, it's perfect. And not only that, just to add on to that, like it's, it's very close to home and I'm going to have people um, like my friends and stuff coming to the fight, so... It's just bonuses all over, like, and I, and I and I feel great. Like I feel like uh, everything I did wrong in the first fight, which was simple things, like which th which which is things I know. Like I, it wasn't it wasn't rocket science for me to figure out what I did wrong in the fight. Is it was real simple things that I did wrong, and basically gave Stephen the fight. Even though he fought a good fight and he was smart in what he did, I felt like I I, I gave that away, and uh, I, I'm just looking forward. To 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 re to redeem in my title, basically, you know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah, yeah. The, the fight was about a, a year and a half ago. It was a back and forth fight, fight of the night, but it was the takedowns that ultimately got him the win. Has there been a lot exactly? Of, yeah, has there been a lot of focus on wrestling for this training camp? Um, like th that's just what that's what I'm saying. I made a lot of stupid mistakes because like everything I'm doing, everything, like everything. Every, everything I needed to do to make sure that all that didn't happen, like staying on the ground for that long, getting all them takedowns, the stuff I already do in the gym, stuff I've already been doing in the gym. Obviously, I've just been doing uh, more of that kind of stuff and sharpening uh, the stuff I already learned. But everything I did wrong is stuff I already knew. You know what I mean? It's just my head sometimes when I get into a fight. I just I just tend to rely too much on my strike and... and uh, and all that, but I I need to get in the state of mind, especially in competition of 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 the whole game of MMA, because I I am still I'm, I'm actually pretty good on the ground, but I tend to not use that when it comes to competition, and I think I need to snap out of that and and start using all my tools. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Because you were landing a lot of solid shots. You even dropped him early. But considering that you have such a massive reach advantage, is there something you're going to look to change in terms of your striking approach? Like maybe incorporate some jabs using your length more? Definitely, definitely. Because like, even the, even, 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 even the way you're saying that is bothering me because, <laughs> right, my, the, jab, the jab is like one of my best weapons. And I tend to forget that sometimes. You know what I mean? I tend yeah. to just... Go for the knockout shot, which which usually goes against me. Like it, like like if you look at my last two fights, I yeah. used that weapon and it opened up uh, the big strikes for me, which is which is something that uh, my coach John Cavanaugh tells me all the time. Open up with your jab, start with your jab, establish everything with the jab, which I'm very good at. But sometimes I get overconfident. I, I you know what I mean. I start trying to use power instead of technique and skill, which 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 I have like in my toolbox. But um, I I definitely. This will definitely be a more technical um, Franz Malambo in this fight. Awesome. And this is a five-round fight this time. Your first in your career, I believe. So what are you planning on doing yeah. differently in preparation for 25 minutes as opposed to 15? I am preparing to not go to <laughs> the 25 minutes at all. Uh -huh. Going to 25 minutes is not part of the game plan. But if it goes there, like, I feel great. I'm super fit right now. If it has to go there, um, I I'm ready for that to happen. But that's definitely not in the game plan. Going 25 minutes is uh, is, is a no-no. <laughs> yeah, I know. But, I mean, like, cardio-wise, are you doing anything differently? Like, uh in terms of cardio, because a lot of people talk about, like, there are a lot of guys that do the whole treadmill thing. You were saying you just went for yeah. the run. Uh, a lot yeah. of fighters would say that going for the run actually does more for their cardio than just the treadmill. What's your opinion on that? Oh, yeah. 100%. I, I, I'm I, just totally against the treadmill. Yeah. Like, like for example, I just told you I went for a run today. What, what I do was I go to this big field. I am... Um, I do a big run and I do sprints, like you know what I mean. I'm I'm always doing sprints. I it, it's usually set. I usually do it once a week on a on a Sunday, but mm -hmm. I I just happened to do it again today and stuff like that. But 
it just since from boxing, like I, I just always ran and it does. It spikes up your uh, your cardio by miles. Like not only that, but doing the rounds as well in the you know in grappling and wrestling and stuff like that. It works different parts of your body. Doing many rounds and bags. Like if I'm doing bags, I'm gonna do like uh, eight eight rounds or something on bags. You know what I mean to get to to get that cardio to, to get that cardio going. Because if you just like just run and do nothing else, your cardio isn't going to be good for an MMA fight. You know what I mean? You need to work on everything else but definitely running is 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 a big thing that i do like which is i actually find people some people that i train with don't always run and it works against them but i'll definitely i'll definitely always promote running and the views are not too bad in dublin right exactly you know what i mean yeah. <laughs> well it depends where you are okay. i happen to live in a in, in an all right area all right. and the field like the field i run with is literally a two minute walk from my house uh-huh. so i'm super lucky to have like what i have in my surrounding areas maybe different areas maybe you live in the city center okay. it'd be it'd be a bit harder for you but um no we definitely we have the phoenix park that's there we we, we have many places where you can you can go around running and it is pretty nice sometimes it rains and stuff but you know you got to do what you got to do. Absolutely. And how far do you live from, from the gym? I live like 20, say 20 minute drive. Okay. Um, if, if it's not bad traffic and if it is bad traffic, it's about, it's about 30 minute drive. You know what I mean? Yeah. So basically 30 minute drive on a usual day around the time I'd be going to the gym usually take me 30 minutes in, including traffic and stuff like that. So it's not, it's not, it's not very far. Like, Cool. And, and and you do everything under the roof of SVG, right? I mean, it's because some guys like have that unfortunate where they do boxing there, wrestling there, jiu-jitsu. Yeah. There. But at SVG, you guys have everything, right? Yes. I do. Well, I don't know about everybody else. Like, I can't speak about everybody else I train with, but I 100%, I do everything. Uh, in SPG, um, obviously I do my runs and stuff on Sunday. That's my own personal thing. Yeah. Um, but I, I don't use any other gyms. But to be honest, the first time I did kind of uh, train at a different gym in my MMA career is uh, before my last fight. I went to South Africa. I went to uh, train at Fight Fit Militia, mm-hmm. and them guys welcomed me in with um, with with, o- with open arms. Like, and if I was gonna go to a different gym and I already have plans on going back there and uh, I, 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 I'm learning things off them guys like but um, for for now I I, I, I say it SPG but if I if I was going to go anywhere and I am actually planning on uh, visiting uh, Five Fit Militia a few times in Johannesburg Awesome and, and of course the African roots are very important to you I mean we're seeing right now Africa like MMA in general you got like in the UFC you got Kamar Usman you got Francis Ngannou uh, yourself in South Africa, we're seeing a real growth in just MMA in Africa in general. What can you tell us about MMA in South Africa? Oh, yeah. That's a beautiful question. Well, like I used to, I used to watch, like, because just, just to tell you my background, I'm from South Africa, I was born in South Africa, and so, yeah. but I'm living in Ireland, like, nearly all my life, like 15 years, 16 years I've been here, and, uh, when I went to um, South Africa before Jordan that time, what well, was the first time actually going back in 15 years, you know what I mean? Wow. So I haven't been home in ages. I've kind of lost touch with the whole thing there, you know what I mean? I've been kind of following in a bit, watching things on YouTube and stuff, but I don't know a, a massive amount about what's going on there. But before that, like amidst that, I used to watch the EFC. Yeah. And then... Um, I kind of lost track of that as well because uh, the, the 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 channel wasn't there anymore. I used to I used to watch it on Extreme Sports, uh, and I don't know if it doesn't show there or if I don't have Extreme Sports anymore. But it's not there anyways. I haven't been watching it in about a year or two, so I kind of lost track with that. But I went to South Africa. I went to Five Foot Militia, and uh, I went in there thinking like, well, you know. I'm one of Conor McGregor's training partners. I train at SPG. I'm going to just go in and school these guys and show them how it's done. Like, you know what I mean? In the proper spot. But I went in there and them guys literally ragdolled me around. You know what I mean? Yeah. I felt like an amateur training with these guys. It was unbelievable. Like, um, like, like, like the level in, I don't know about the rest of South Africa, but in Fight, in Fight Fit Militia in general, is very very high and uh, i don't know how i'm gonna do this but I, i'm gonna try and uh, kind of like team up um five foot militia with sbg it's i, I haven't really like 
done anything about that, but I, I really want that to be a thing because them guys are legit down there. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, th that would be fantastic because th that's that's what I'm saying. I mean, you being able to represent and you're like fighting on international stage as international as it can get uh, to kind of merge, exactly. yeah, to kind of merge these two worlds would be a f fantastic thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm speaking at that. I actually, I'm speaking at that. Like, obviously, fight for militia. Uh, f uh, a lot of the guys that are in the UFC, and there is like super high competition. Like them guys, like, like the the just MMA in general is growing so big in South Africa, and um, I, 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 like I'm expecting to see a massive. A massive boost in like guys going into the UFC from South Africa. I'm just looking forward to seeing uh, the growth of MMA in South Africa in general because it's it, it's big down there. You know what I mean? And it, and it is growing as well. Maybe we can see Brave go to South Africa sometime. Maybe your first title defense or something. <laughs> yeah, no, here you know we've already talked about that. There's uh, yeah. there's talks of that happening, really? but uh, it, it's you know what I mean. There's big politics behind it, but uh, we'll see what happens. But that that would definitely be a dream of mine to fight for a title a title defense or whatever else in South Africa. That that be definitely a, a dream. For sure. And tell me a little bit about your training camp. And of course, you've got a lot of great teammates at SBG. Uh, who are some of the guys that you've been training with in preparation for Loman? I mean, training with literally everybody. Like, But uh, I've been working a lot. Like, sparring-wise, I've been working with Blaine O'Driscoll. Uh, just, just a few number of guys, you know what I mean? Like, everybody in SBG just kind of goes with each other, you know what I mean? We have a, we have a pro team. Yeah. Uh, training every day, like so, I just, I just pick off different bodies, really, like you know what I mean. Like I can't really pick, like point pick everybody, because I get, I get, I get little details from different people, because you know different people specialize in different things. So everybody, literally everybody that I train with, helps me, uh, helps me, and is has helped me a lot, and will help me in this fight as well. You know what I mean? Definitely. And of course, this is Brave's first trip to Europe and you're the headliner. So how exciting is this for you to be the guy that headlines Brave's first trip to Europe? Oh, yeah. yeah. No, no, it is. It is. It, it is beautiful. Like it only makes sense. I think it just makes sense for for it to be to be me on the headline coming to Ireland because um, being like with Brave for so long, being with Brave even before the conception of Brave, like going back to KHK and stuff like that. It just kind of worked out super perfectly that I'm fighting for a title. It is a, it is a great um, it is a great honor for me to be to be um to be headlining and especially that as well that uh, like we have a, a a UFC fighter that's 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 a fight before me, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's um, I don't know, the whole thing is just kind of surreal and I can't uh, I just can't wait for it to happen. Like it, it can't come it can't come soon enough. It feels like time is going in slow motion, and it's only a few days, a few days away. And you said you're expecting a lot of friends and family. Have you had people kind of like bothering you for tickets and all that? Well, I have Raz taking care of all that kind of stuff. A few people have asked me, but okay. it's such a big fight for me. I am. I'm not gonna like. I'm happy that I can't actually get tickets and and have to deal with all that stuff. But I actually got a text today. Okay. Uh, from a guy saying I have tickets if you want them come I don't know if it's too late now for all that or what but um, I sent that to Raz and we'll see what happens but I, I still am expecting a good few people to come Like uh, I would have likened it to be a bit early to get the, 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 the tickets early so we could have dealt with that before I'm so close to it but uh, that's that that that's beyond what I'm thinking about. You know what I mean? Yeah, Obviously, I'd like whoever yeah. who, whoever wants to come, whoever is actually willing to 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 take the time to you know what I mean to to do whatever to get there. That'd be much appreciated. But as well, I'm not going to be super pushing people to come because this is a big fight for me. Uh, maybe if Brave the next time is coming to Dublin, maybe we can organize it better and then we can park the place with the with with with, with, with the Black Mamba's fan base. But for now. It is still like I am still traveling uh, to Belfast and stuff. It, it's not really my hometown or whatever. Yeah. But um, right now I'm just concentrating on the fight. All that other external stuff is just it, it's secondary to me. Yeah, and that's why I asked you the question because uh, a lot of times when I ask fighters about that, there's like the advantage and the disadvantage because 
uh, you, yeah. get, you get a lot of people like talking to you and then trying to reach out to you for tickets and all that. So it's if you've got yeah, something yeah, good yeah. with it, then it's definitely great. Yeah, no, exactly, and and I, like I'm blessed to have my friend Raz taking care of all that for me, like, cause uh, he even he, he even brought it to me before I even thought of it. He was like, yeah, what about tickets? What are we gonna do? I'll take care of all that. And uh, I don't know if 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 every fighter has that, but I think that that that, that that's a great thing that I have a friend uh, that that does all that to me, cause he knows everybody I know, yeah. and he's running my Facebook page, all that kind of stuff. So he removes a lot of stresses from me that other fighters would have otherwise. You know what I mean? So. I'm kind of lucky in that way. That's perfect. And who's going to be in your corner for this fight? I know John couldn't be there for your last one because he was stuck in colder weather. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, well, he definitely will be there this time. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to have uh, Key for there. I usually have uh, Keen. Yeah, please, please. But obviously he's fighting as well. And um, I'm looking I'm looking at two, two, two other guys that might fill that spot because... Since it's a title fight, I, I get to have more Conor men, don't I? I'm not sure how many I'm allowed, but uh, I, I have two other uh, uh, two other two other guys I'm thinking of, but I, I don't know if they're coming or not. So I'm really disgusted, to be honest. But we'll we'll just see what happens. <laughs> nice, nice. And a couple more questions before I let you go. I appreciate the time. Since you last fought Loman, you've been keeping active. Uh, three wins, three finishes in a row. Was the goal to stay active so you're able to climb the ladder up quickly? Because I know that loss really bothered you. So was the idea to like get, get back in there and be active and kind of climb the ladder back up quickly? Yeah, well, it wasn't... The, like, the activity wasn't due to my loss or anything like that. I okay. just like to stay active anyway, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, like, for, like, when I fought Longman, I didn't get a fight for, for, for a while. And I, I kept telling Brave, I was like, guys, if you want me to perform properly, like the time before, the time when I fought Longman and, and then I, I, I fought Jalal was a big gap, you know what I mean? Yeah. And in that fight against Jalal, I, I didn't feel like I performed really good, you know what I mean? And I feel like that happens a lot. If there is a, there is a super big gap, in between my fights uh, I'm just I'm an active fighter you know what I mean if I'm fighting like once every two months like <laughs> I'm doing good you know what I mean I, I, yeah. I perform to my best um, so it, it just it just works out that way because I like being active and obviously if you are active you're gonna tend to climb up uh, ladders like quicker than most people that don't like to do that but um, be, being active is definitely something that, that I like to do yeah I don't know if that answers your question though yeah, yeah, because there, there is no experience, like, in-cage experience, right? Exactly, exactly, exactly. And, like, I, 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 don't, I, I don't know if I can... I don't, my, my head just doesn't get into training or anything if I know, like, I don't have an aunt coming up, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, just get too, I just get too relaxed, like, in everything. So um, if I know there's something always coming up, that, that helps me improve, you know what I mean? That helps me train harder that makes me do everything better so uh being active definitely works good for everybody not only for me but for the organization as well if they, they they're gonna want good performances you know what i mean definitely and in terms of weight cutting i mean you fought at featherweight before in your career but uh you seem healthy and fine at bantamweight so no no problems with weight cutting or anything like that and do you generally just stay in shape like some fighters like tend to balloon up in between fights which makes the cut that much harder yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, like, I don't know what it is about my body, but even if I tried to balloon up, it wouldn't happen. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's good. I, I have a super high metabolism and whatnot. But um, I don't know. But not only that, like, I have a, I have a, I have a healthy diet all year round. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? So I keep, I keep my body uh, pretty healthy, like, all year round. Obviously, every now and then, I'd, I'd splash out on a cake or whatnot. You know what I mean? You got, <laughs> you got to do these things every now and then. Yeah. But um. Um, I I keep pretty good a uh, pretty good track of my health, like, and uh, I my 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 cut is so good that I feel. And some people have said it to me that I could do um I could do the weight underneath me if I wanted to, but yeah. I don't think that that that'd be fair to the poor flyweights. So I'd I'd be too big for that kind of weight. But if I wanted to, I really could. You know what I mean? That's how that's how good. I feel at Bantam, and that's how good I uh, I feel like I, I get that cut down. Because like, I walk around normal. My normal weight is like 72. 
You know what I mean? That's uh, my heaviest. I'm 72 kilos and I cut that to 61 and I still feel perfect. I might not look the best, but Mm -hmm. I still feel good, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, awesome. And one last thing, I really appreciate your time. How do you see this fight with Loman playing out? How do you get the job done? Any prediction? (laughs) I'm not going to predict anything, but I can tell you it's it's more than most likely not going to go to five rounds. All right. All right. I'll, I'll leave you with that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, of course, Franz Mamo takes on Stephen Lohman in the main event of Brave Combat Federation 13, June 9th in Belfast, Northern Ireland. Franz, thank you so much for your time and best of luck. Thank you very much. God bless.